Do you think you are free from lies or deception or swindlers? But the question is whose lies that you should be free from? How did you come to appreciate these lies? Are they good or bad lies? Propaganda. The truth is that everybody once in a while lies. Which lies are infesting us today? This is a topic that we want to deal with, ruled by big lies. Control them. We want to look at this because it is very, very critical at this juncture in our civilization. One big great lie is that the government is there for us, is that the government is for the welfare of the masses. Yet we know that through the riot police, the police, the intelligence, the military, and many other social forces, they dominate and control us and direct us and drive us towards a certain agenda. The people are at the bottom. The planet and the living things are controlled by the government. And the government is controlled by the corporate organizations all these are Pfizer, GE, Exxon, City, and big banks, and national central banks, and international central banks, as well as central bank of central banks, and the elites that are at the top. The great riches that have been accumulated by the individuals makes it a point that they control us and pollute the whole planet. Therefore, one big lie comes from the government. So what do we do? How did we come to accept these lies? It's very simple. We were born into this civilization that was already infested and corrupted by these big lies. So our task is to independently identify the basis of these lies and rebel. We want to show five big lies which have influenced the Western world and the whole world in the last 200 300 years we shall also proffer solutions remember the word we are using here is solutions so these are the uh, big lies the god of religion the darwinist lie marxist socialist capitalist political ideology the freudian interpretation of the unconscious and positivism signs of illusion let's look at this and uh, consider it the god of religion the god of religion considers a man-made deity as the creator specifically propagated by christianity judaism and islam god jehovah allah jesus are all deities there is a law that is being used to eradicate black people directing them via enslavement and colonization to these deities Melanin dominant human beings are the only slaves in this world, infatuated with their master's God, Allah or Jesus. Pick your choice. We believe in the big lie about the powerful God who is in heaven. We wait for answers to all our problems in vain, but we continue to have faith, belief and trust in what was not giving us answers. We are the only group of people on earth expecting their colonizer or our colonizer and enslaver their god to climb down from heaven to run our governments our businesses and the personal affairs we are ruled by this god who is a big lie but this god came from uh the europeans via the proto-indo-european word gut that which is invoked which means it's a deity, which means it's an idol, which means it's an image, which means it's a concept, which means it's a man-made idea. Guthan, Proto-Germanic, and then it came to God, Old English, where they then defined it as supreme being. Remember, we said the real creator for us as melanin dominant human beings is not a being or a spirit, is beyond being and is beyond spirit, is remote. He has given us all the powers and all the protocols to follow. Supreme being, deity the christian god image of a god or god-like person then became the noun god that you all bow down to and worship and love that's one big lie so what's the solution to this how do we detect and control the god of religion never forget that 
we have a history, we have a culture, we have a spirituality. This is it. This is how we do it. By honoring and remembering the ancestors. We continue to give the facts that the God of religion lies. He considers your identity, your ancestors and divinities as evil. The reason being that if you understand and accept your divinities, you will know how to worship. So you end up worshiping the Christian, Judaic and Islamic ancestors, deities and spirits. The solution to this is to revive your two basic totems today. Totems are still the best left foot forward for melanin dominant human beings. There is no African descent or melanin dominant human being who is alive or who has ever lived and who will ever live who is totemless. Do you know your totems? Are they activated or broken? To learn more and activate your true identity, send us an email on join at marfado.com. Visit also our website to learn these truths. Then there is the Darwinian lie, which he says that creation is an accident. This has speculated all forms of modern education, medicine, biology, geography, industry, and human relationships. This Darwinian fraud, Epman fallacy, was conjured and financed by the Freemasons with universities and other think tanks fabricating evidence like dinosaurs that never existed. Intelligent design is the truth that we can all rise up to. This Darwin was a Freemason. You can see him pointing to the mouth here. Of course, they copied from us, from ancient Africa. This had another meaning, not secrets, but another meaning. Control this big lie by researching and believing in what our ancient sages revealed. This is Jahuti, so-called taught, is the science of the creator's creation. He is an oracle. He is not mystic. He is the rigorous, intense, systematic study of the universe. He is the scientific method. You have to employ him. You have to employ this so that you can be able to detect the big lie. Control this big lie again by researching and believing in what our ancestors and sages revealed. Within each of us lies the potential to activate a personal connection to the superconscious. Called Uras, also Kundalini in Hindu yoga traditions. Our innate serpent power of the spiritual transcendence inhabits the base of the spine in its dormant state. When awakened, it unfurls along the spinal column to the brain, connecting individual consciousness to the consciousness of the universe, enfolded within the dark matter of space, melanin, dominant, carbon, dominant, at the root of the creativity and spiritual genius across innumerable cultures and civilizations, this intelligent forces reveals portals that enfold time, space, and the luminous matrix of reality itself. This was said by Dr. Edward Bynum. We have featured him in many of our uh, videos. We have to learn more. You have to become an, an Ausari, the divinity dwelling in you. In the Cushitic Kemetic spiritual science, it is taught that the African is a divinity or a netta. However, it is not saying that you are born a divinity. The divinity is inserted into you. We have explained this many, many times. You have to become a divinity by your good works in this life. It is the same way that a seed is potentially a tree. But it cannot call itself a tree until it has dug itself deep into the rich soil of the earth to eat of its nutrients and absorb the rainwater from heaven and thereby becoming a tree. In this same way, the African is potentially a god, but only if he develops himself or herself into one. That's how we remove this lie. We remove this big lie. We now look at Marxist, socialist, capitalist, political ideology, which is a deceptive lie formulated by Karl Marx, who was a Freemason. You can see the sign that is showing here is the same sign that he, this prince is showing.
like Darwin, he was a Freemason. Look at their hand signals. Now, our own brothers and sisters are falling for this. Our celebrities are falling for this. No, look, they now wear Freemason rings and they show Freemason signs. This is ignorance. They drinking your soul. The solution to all this problem is that you have to find and connect your totemic secret society. You connect your totem first. Then you connect to your totemic secret society via mystery school teachings where you will learn the soul lessons through which you will acquire a real material manifestation of your natural religion with tangible tools for communicating with deities, spirits, and ancestors. At joinatmarfado.com, we offer Bantu mystery lessons too, which lead you to the solution. Some clues to find your own societies are given here. More mysteries, this one. The hiding ones, more mysteries, specifically for those that come from West Africa. This is yours. This is for the Oceania and many others. We are, I'm, giving, I'm just giving you clues. And again, this is my favorite because this is where we fall under and belong. This is the Leopard Man Secret Society. And now we give you more clues. This is one for all melanin dominant women or girls. Some deep secrets about this. Yes, this is clear. Chinamari, you have to know this. It's not only for people coming from a specific place in Africa, but it's for all melanin dominant females. If you don't know anything in this area, you are not enjoying something that is critical and vital. I shall say no more. Freudian interpretation of the unconscious is a huge error since it diminishes the spirit or the soul. It deals with the unconscious uh, from an evolutionary perspective and that is a big, big error. And deals with the fears which are animalistic like unacceptable sexual desires, violent motives, irrational wishes, immoral urges, selfish. All this does not fall under anything else other than an error there is a way of understanding this it comes only from what our ancestors are taught that is the solution the soul has nine parts so you have to deal with these nine parts so men know thyself and you shall know the gods it all dwells inside you this is the solution to psychology and sociocultural big lies is to find thy soul and wake it up that's the solution you don't need anything else. We come now to relativity's instantaneous idea that suggests that there are no absolutes. We know, and you, you can do your own research, that Einstein was a fraud and he postulated big lies. You can read this book by Christopher John Benches. It's fantastic, it's awesome, it's a fool. We shall give a few clues here. It is easily proven that Albert Einstein did not originate the special theory of relativity in its entirety or even in its majority. The historic record is readily available. Ludwig Gustav Lange, Holderman Voigt, George Francis Fitzgerald, Joseph Lamo, Hendrik Anton Lorenz, Jules Henry Poincare, Paul Drood, Paul Langevin, and many others slowly developed the theory step by step and based it on thousands of years of recorded thought and research. Einstein may have made a few contributions to the theory, such as the relativistic equations for aberrations and the Doppler physio effect, though he may also have rendered an incorrect equation for the transverse mass of the el electron, which when corrected becomes the Rolonzo equation. This is the website where you can go and read about this. This is also a big lie. Dominating physics, astronomy, as well as technology today. If Einstein pushed a big lie, what is our solution? Here is our solution. Here is our solution from the tablets that gives us our understanding of the universe and connection to the universe. It is known as nunology for us. 
Nyunyu, based on the waves of Nyunyu, found on the chevron of almost all ancient buildings. Especially if you look at Great Zimbabwe, you find them putting this chevron. Ancient Tamarian, hermetic word and principle for the first prime hidden potential and infinite possibilities, the original creative forces of the universe, nature, the black light of intellect, mental energy, the black waters of a celestial waters known as the etheric realm, formless ethers, and manifested energies, nameless. You can see we are at the chasm here. The eternal now. As African people, our minds are linked to all eternal and almighty nature. What we can conceive in our minds, we will be, see it, and so shall it be seen, Nebuheru. Very, very, very critical. This is the solution, rather than following the Einsteinian lie. The big lie of positivism, the science of illusion, it uses a lot of other psychological tactics to make us believe in lies. The governments and corporate entities that we have shown already have combined all these big lies and built our current push button, high-tech civilization we call name Swetwe, socially engineered technology with evil. It is animatic. It's not ours. How do we combat it? Know the truth with the facts. Identify the specific lie. We are going to give an example of how to do that. The illusory truth effect, also known as the illusion of truth effect, validity effect, truth effect, or the reiteration effect is the tendency to believe false information to be correct after repeated exposure. So that's why we are saying expose yourself to what is ours. This phenomenon was first identified in 1977 at a study in Villanova University and Temple University. The illusion of truth effect is that people are more likely to identify as true statements those they have previously heard, even if they cannot consciously remember having heard them, regardless of the actual validity of the statement. In other words, a person is more likely to believe a familiar statement than an unfamiliar one. Very, very interesting. Propaganda. We repeat a lie so many times people will eventually believe it. Started with the Nazi, still up, going today. Look at how they emphasize one specific thing. Look at what is dominating the news today and the instructions to obey some other instructions. It's a big lie. Rebelling against is the master solution. Anyone who is immoral, wicked, enjoys inflicting pain, even when wrong, is sinful. Any government or company or organization legislating anything, whether touted as good for you, but forces you or others by hook and crook or manipulation or otherwise, even to the point of using illusion in deception, is peddling in big lies. Rebel and die fighting. Thank you for stopping by. Subscribe to our channel, Committee Brew Ethics. This is Preacher Rabbi L.M. Dumizlu saying we are rebuilding our greatness. Let us work together. Join us. Send us an email on joinatmarifado.com. Tenda, siabonga, enkos, edupe, asante sana.